one of my takeaways today was when uh, Aaron talked about the calling and how people's passion is really what drives them in their both professional and personal life. So what is purpose? And this goes great to uh, your new tagline um, um, about the greater St. Cloud area. So purpose is generated by three things. Relationships. We get purpose from each other. We get purpose working with other people. Relationships are probably the most important part of what builds purpose in our work, right? And a purpose in our lives. Second is making an impact, doing something greater than yourself. And it doesn't have to be a cause. It's just doing something that's not just about you, right? It's about doing something to help others, even if it's in a very small way. And then finally, it's about personal growth and challenge. It's about growing as people, right? And I love that that sort of came up this morning about what you guys are all about. How do you grow as people in your appreciation of the arts, education, et cetera, stretching ourselves, growing. These are the three things that generate purpose in our lives and in our work. Some people think of work as a job. Work is a necessary evil. It's something we have to do to have purpose outside of work. Um, it's something that we just do because we have to do. These people, uh, someone called coin operated, right? Work is just purely a means to an end. The second group is called career. These people fundamentally tie work to their identity, to their sense of self. And the third, which I don't like the label, but it's called calling, which is a belief that work creates value for the world and that the act of work itself creates a sense of purpose, right? So these are generally the way people see work. And it generally doesn't change after adolescence. Uh, most people stick with the same answer throughout their entire career. Not only that, um, they tend to pass it on to their kids, their grandkids, et cetera. It tends to be an inherited trait. Is that they're, they're seeing this, which the research shows, which is people of the calling category, they have higher personal satisfaction, higher work satisfaction, and ha are more effective at work. They're better employees. So it's not a question of, hey, this is great, like you've got some you know, job people, some career people, some calling people in your organization. It's actually looking like if you're a CEO, you want to hire calling people. You know, my key takeaway was really thinking about my purpose uh, when it comes to my work, what I do, my life, my relationships. And so that really hit home with me and really taking time to, to think about purpose and, and uh, meaning in your life. So. Aaron Hurst expounding on the purpose economy was just phenomenal. I really loved when he was talking about individuals having a calling and pointing out the various aspects of the calling. That really resonated. And how do you take that back to your organization? I mean, that's really, and, and laying it out with a concept of being able to apply those um, versus just some vague, oh, here's a, here's a, a great cloud. But he actually had very poignant aspects of how you can actually implement the organization made us aware of how or the plan that he has of you know professional development for the teachers and even helping the student themselves you know carry on self-esteem like it's okay to fail it's okay to be yourself so that's something that I'm carrying with me today thank you